So as far as racing games go, Trackmania is actually one of the simplest to play. There's no items, there's no turbos. The only controls you even need to bind are accelerate, brake, and steering, as well as a couple reset buttons, but they're not as important. Now most Trackmania players will either use some kind of controller or a keyboard. For me, I've been using Xbox controllers since I started, but today I want to test out every different input device I could get my hands on and see which one is actually the worst. All right, so I'm just going to be driving on AO1 race for Trackmania 2 Stadium. It's a very basic map, and so uh, it'll be a good benchmark, and I'll just be comparing times that I get on all of them. All right, 24.03, nothing too crazy. Uh, I have no ambitions on trying to beat my personal best on this map today. But now let's try using a keyboard. Now, I'm kind of surprised at just how many people use keyboard when they play this game. I guess when you don't have access to a controller, it just makes it easier to play. Just with any computer that you've got set up, you don't need to go out and find a controller. But okay, there's a 24.516. Keyboard's really not my favorite device, but I'm okay with it. It. Okay, something interesting I noticed in the bindings is that you have the option of using the mouse to play. Now, there's all these sensitivity things, and uh, I think that that's just meant for shoot mania or something. Like, if you try and set the steering analog, uh, it doesn't seem to want to register moving the mouse. Uh, it can't even register the scroll wheel. So, unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. If you have any ideas of ways you can bind the mouse, that would be really interesting, but it seems like I'm just going to have to rely on the buttons. All right, so all we need is accelerate, brake, and steer left and right. You know, I was actually thinking of using left click to bind accelerate rate, but uh, I think it'd actually be better to use the side button. So let's do accelerate, brake, and then do left click as left turn and right click as right turn. Oh, I can use middle click to uh, respawn. All right, it's going to be really sad if I end up getting a better time on this. Man, it, it's... Oh, I, I keep forgetting what my buttons are. And it also doesn't help that I'm trying to talk while playing, too. I started to mix up the uh, left click and the uh, accelerate. All right, a little bit slower on this one. Uh, only a bronze medal. It just feels kind of wrong uh, only using one hand to play. Okay, that's quite a bit better. So I got a bunch of uh, old retro controllers that just have a USB plug-in. So let's test out the GameCube controller. Okay, it sees it as generic USB joystick. Uh, close enough. All right, so I'm still going to try and use the triggers to go and stop just because that's what I'm used to with the Xbox controller. But you know, it's actually not so bad. I think you could get used to playing with a controller like this. My only issue with the GameCube controller is that the triggers feel like there's a little bit too much resistance to them. And it's in like kind of an awkward way. But 24.07. All right, let's see if a PS2 controller can do any better. Or a PS1, I don't know. They're all kind of the same. Man, every time I plug in a new controller, I've got to go into the bindings. They're all seen as generic USB joysticks, except that the button number seems to be different on all of them. Man, my bindings are going to be so messed up after all this. Okay, so something very interesting to note with this is that um, the joystick and the, uh, the turning buttons, I don't know what you call the the d-pad on the playstation controller you you can control with either one like they are both bound together so you can have analog to make gradual turns with the joystick but then you can also make very sharp turns with uh, these buttons all right now it's time to mess around with a joystick you know this would have been a lot funnier if virtual didn't just announce that he was switching to uh, joystick to play for real. Here I've had this video idea for a long time because uh, everyone I play with kind of jokes around about driving with a steering wheel or something, but then it turns out there are pro players who are using joysticks and steering wheels and all kinds of weird setups. But I think that this is one of the most difficult to get used to. Like, if you play with an Xbox controller, you can pretty easily switch to a PlayStation controller. They're not too different. But going from that to this is a much different feeling. I also don't know if the buttons that I bound for it are optimal. I'm kind of just using the trigger to go and then the thumb button to break. Let me see if I can uh, actually pull off a successful drift here. Like, yeah, I mean, it works okay, but I don't know that I'd be able to do any sort of extreme tech map like this. All right, we're back with another retro controller. So I'm trying to come up with a way to bind for this, but nothing I can think of feels right. So I set the right trigger to uh, accelerate and then the Z button on the back to break, which uh, if you ever played Mario Kart 64, that sounds completely ridiculous. But there we go with another 24. Uh, I'm also trying to bind it so that I hold it like this, except that, uh, it doesn't seem to like binding the D-pad over here. I can't get that to turn at all. <laughs> all right, it's time to try out a steering wheel. Now, I looked online for steering wheels to use for this video, and all of them were so expensive. Even the cheapest ones I could find were like 60 bucks. But there was one exception that I found on eBay. It was the cheapest steering wheel I could find, and that is what I'm going to be driving with today. Now, I'm kind of surprised this thing does have some uh, good resistance to the wheel. It's also got a little bit of weight to it, so it doesn't tip over. I like how it just says, Keyboard Gear Interactive 3D Cruiser. Okay, well, we do have a lot of buttons on the 
wheel, so that helps us. So let's set accelerate to this button, brake over here to this button, and then, I mean, steering, obviously. We'll set the give up to this horn button. Maybe if I had the sound turned on, I could use that as the horn button. And then we could just use, uh, how about the airplane button as the respawn button? All right, uh, driving the little tyke steering wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so apparently there is a bit of a dead zone in this uh, wheel. You've got to turn it kind of a long ways for it to uh, really register. I'm not, I'm not sure if this thing is turning as much as I need it to, but man, this is a, this is way harder to play than I was expecting. I did just give it some praise for having some weight to it, but it is no, not nearly enough. Whenever I try and turn hard, the whole thing is lifting off of the disc. It almost seems like it's veering left a little bit, and it's having a hard time turning right. Because yeah, these uh, these right turns should not be this difficult. Yeah, I think that there really is just some stick drift with this thing because it turns left just fine. Even when I'm trying to go straight, it's veering left. And if I try and make a hard right, it is not doing so well. You know, that is not the problem I expected to have when I set this thing up. I mean, I'm kind of amazed that it works at all, but unfortunately, I do not think that I'm going to be able to play competitively with this wheel. All right, we've got a couple more controllers to get through before I get to the real bad ones. So it's time for the Super Nintendo controller. It uh, feels like the number of available buttons just keeps getting smaller and smaller the further we go back in time. All right, well, we're back to feeling a little bit more normal playing with something like this. You know, maybe I could actually try and uh, set my personal best for the day. Hey, what do you know? Super Nintendo controller just set my best time of this whole video. It might help that I wasn't talking the whole time, but all right, we're going all the way back to the beginning. We're gonna play Trackmania with an NES controller. Uh, we barely have enough buttons to even play the game. I mean, there's no triggers on this controller, so I'm gonna have to go with A for accelerate and B for brakes. It still sees the D-pad as an analog steer though. Uh, as far as the give up and respawn buttons, I guess we're just gonna have to use the start and select buttons because that's all we really have left. See, to anyone wondering why it's better to use triggers than to use an, like an A and B setup on a controller. Uh, there's a lot of times where you are having to do accelerate and brake at the same time. And so it's just, it's a lot harder to do with one finger to take care of both, especially when you've got to be pressing and lifting off of both a lot. And so having one trigger per finger lets your hands work independently a little better. But all right, I have two more devices to work with, and uh, this is where it's gonna start getting really ridiculous. Starting with the Guitar Hero controller. Now, something I'd be surprised if any of you guys know, I actually used to run a Guitar Hero channel called GH Andrew, where I would mainly just give Guitar Hero lessons. And that's the only reason I'm gonna have a guitar like this, because these things are actually pretty expensive to find these days. But okay, let's try and bind this controller. This is gonna be tricky. Uh, I can already tell something's a little off because these uh, triggers are flickering all over the place. I'm not entirely sure what I should even use for steering on this. Um, the only analog inputs on this controller is the whammy bar. I think that that's what's really triggering it. It's like it's so sensitive that like any little movement on it is causing problems. I guess for accelerate and brake, I'll just use the green and the red buttons. Okay, my, <laughs> my wheels are already turning. I'm not even doing anything. What is happening? Why is it turning left so hard? All right, let's see if I can set the strum bar to uh, turn left and right. All right, I was about to say maybe this isn't so bad, but uh, there seems to be like some sort of inputs going on inside the controller that is just really messing with something. Like all I have set is the accelerate and turning, but it's almost like it's being overridden by some other buttons that are somewhere being pressed inside of it. But on another note, I can actually steer with the whammy bar. It's just really hard to go straight because um, when it's, uh, whenever it's just sitting in its default position, that counts as going left, and I have to hold it down to go right. So I somehow need to hold it, like, right in the middle position to go straight. Yeah, like I said, something's just, like, causing the acceleration to just stop after a few seconds. Oh, well, like, there it goes. It just, uh... Something's really messed up. But you know, I do have a second controller, so let me see if it's just something wrong with this one. Okay, so this one's not turning on at all, so it's time to move to the final and worst controller that I could come up with. And for this one, I'm gonna need to raise the desk. So it's now time to drive in Track Mania using a Dance Dance Revolution dance mat. Now, I'm a bit worried on how this one's gonna go, but uh, let's see if we can come up with some inputs that are not terrible. So I mean, for Accelerate, uh, I guess we'll just do forward. For brake, we'll do back. For steer left, we got the left pad. For steer right, give up, I guess we'll just go back there. And respawn, hmm. 
Okay, so I've got a step here to uh, go forward. No way I'm gonna try messing with turning when I don't need to. Oh, I need to uh, set up for a left or a right turn, but not too much. Okay. Um. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Man, it's like switching between turning left and turning right is such a hassle because you've got to like completely rearrange your whole stance every time you want to change directions. Okay, I'm almost there. Just stop turning so hard. Um, man, I need to hold on to the desk so I don't fall over. All right. <laughs> okay, 43 second time. Probably not my best, but oh, for a second I thought that was silver medal time. I was like, what? <laughs> but you know, how about we go online and play for real? Well, I mean, at least I'm not having input problems. It's very responsive. But man, like, I cannot think of a worse way to play Trackmania. <laughs> See if I can even get a finish this time. No. Man, come on, just turn. No. <laughs> okay, 28 seconds. I, I finished the map at least. You know, for a game that sometimes wants you to do three different inputs at once, it doesn't really work when you've only got two legs. Come on. Can I even find the finish line in this map? Oh, there we go. Only 21 seconds. Huh, you know, a map called Cytox's Mini Nightmare. I'm not super excited to play something that with that kind of name. No. With such a large handicap. Okay, okay, don't fall off. All right, we're doing okay. All right, we've uh, we've gotten two checkpoints now. Okay, don't don't mess up. You know, what's my respawn? Okay, I can respawn. Let's see if I can finish this map. I just have it on shuffle. I didn't pick any of these. Come on. Ah, oh, man. All right, yeah, this map is impossible. You know, I was planning on doing some sort of like a grass slide map or tech map just to laugh at it, but I think it's pain enough just to try and do the most basic of maps. So uh, I don't even see me landing a drift at all because it would involve me having to hold accelerate, turn, and brake at the same time, which would most likely just end up having me end up hitting the reset button in the process. But anyway, that's all I've got for my 12 different devices of playing Trackmania with. I, th I think it's pretty clear which ones were the worst, although I couldn't even finish the race with the Guitar Hero controller. If you have any other ideas for different controllers to try with this, uh, let me know, because uh, this is pretty much all the ideas that I have. Maybe I could experiment with uh, combining different ones. Like, it might actually be kind of cool to use the dance mat with the steering wheel and just combine those. But anyways, see ya.